I'm George Parag. I'm a dermatologist. I'm currently the chair of the Department of Dermatology here at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. Non-melanoma skin cancer is actually the most common skin cancers that we routinely see, and they are not necessarily the easiest to identify. Non-melanoma skin cancers come in two major categories. Uh, most of them are so-called basal cell carcinomas. A, another subset are the squamous cell carcinomas, and they do look somewhat different. Basal cell car carcinomas usually will be these small pink macules or papules, so flat small areas or minimally bumpy areas on the skin that can look sometimes really bright pink. Occasionally they can be sort of barely pearly and more sort of pearly white. So people should be looking for small sores, areas that sort of break open easily, areas that bleed easily, and pearly bumps or pink bumps on the skin that continue to very slowly grow. Squamous cell carcinomas occasionally show up as patches of the skin. Occasionally they will show up as sort of warty bumps on the skin. Uh, they may sometimes hurt, occasionally the area may itch, sometimes there may be minimal burning sensation. Usually for all of these, these are going to be relatively unique areas of the skin where there are not going to be similar lesions elsewhere. Everyone will have usually hundreds, some people thousands of skin lesions. One thing that usually distinguishes problem spots is that usually problem spots will look uniquely different from many other spots on the skin. So ABCDF uh, is, is sort of a really good uh, way to remember what someone needs to look for when they are looking for problem pigmented lesions on the skin. A stands for asymmetry, B stands for border irregularity, C stands for color variation in the lesion, uh, D stands for increased diameter, E stands for evolution or change in the lesion, and F is something I usually mention to people because that makes it actually easiest for people who have lots of skin lesions to recognize problem lesions. That uh, sort of in my vocabulary stands for funny or funky, and that really stands for the ugly duckling sign, which tells people to look for something that looks very different from anything else on their skin, and that can sometimes enable people to catch problem spots a lot earlier than otherwise they would be able to.